Hello everyone, how do you do? This is Project How to Do. Today I want to show you a very interesting 3D printer. This is E3D Nano. Let's start. It came in a solid package with a picture of printer and some basic information, such as maximum printing size 90 by 110 by 110 millimeters. When I opened the box, I found printer itself in bubble wrap and another smaller box attached to the printer by some tape. Printer looks very nice. Solid structure, small, light, and it looks extremely simple with only one button to operate. On the back it have SD card slot, USB, switch for replacing filament and power supply connector. In the smaller box I found a USB cable, spool holder, as you can see it's 3D printed. Power supply, 12 volts, 5 amp, screwdriver for adjusting the bed, plastic putty knife, 250 grams of white PLA filament, instruction manual, 1 GB SD card, and a card reader. Pretty basic set, but you get everything you need to start printing. In the manual you will find detailed instruction how to start printing, how to load and change filament, how to use software. Actually everything is made very simple and intuitive. I can't wait anymore, let's print something. At first I install a spool holder and loading filament into the nozzle. For this on the back side I switch to the load mode and press the play button. Hitting took about a minute and you can insert the filament. Press the play button again and switch it back to the normal. I didn't look yet what's inside the SD card and just press play button again to start printing. And it starts. It's finding the limits and trying to print but failed because the bed was not leveled. Two turns with a screwdriver and it's all set up you need. Printing took about 3 hours and it came out very good. Nice face with no visible defects. Let's try to do something more complicated. I downloaded a model of an octopus with moving legs. Just drop it into the original software, you will find it on SD card. It's much more simple than Cura, which I usually use. I make some scaling and set up the layer height of 0.1mm. Create G-code and drop it to the SD card. Insert it to the printer and press play button. After hitting it start working. Right there you can see E3D Nano standing on a heating bed of my CR10. Also I have to notice very quiet work compared to a bigger printer. After few hours I got this little octopus. In my opinion quality is very good. Keep in mind that you have this result straight out of the box and with simplest slicing software I ever seen. Summing up, uh, I want to say that this is a nice printer, very small, very light, very easy to use. I would recommend it for beginners, students and anyone who wants to get into 3D printing but don't know where to start from. As always, all links in the description and that's all I get for today. Have a good one.